All right, Johnny. So we're, you're at PDP to start the summer, which for me, going in there to see you, I knew you had thrown 70 plus innings. You were there. I think you were like 90 and 92. It wasn't the elite. A lot of the pro guys are seeing you for the first time. Like, this is a Johnny King kid. And like, yeah, this yeah. guy moves awesome. He gets down the mound. Great extension. Look at him spinning this thing in this crazy humidity here in North Carolina. Were you tired at that? Was that something you thought about at all? Um, I think I was a little tired. There was a little bit. Wait, so what, when was it was Carrie July? No, June twenty eighth or something like that, right? Yeah, right around then. Right. Before so before yeah, before. Uh, I was kind of I was kind of shut down. I was kind of just getting back into it. And I feel like I was trying to push myself a little bit too hard. Like I feel like my high school season, I was more 91, 93. Whereas in when I was going to the PDP, I was 90, 92, which I, I don't think I was fully built back up. But definitely towards the end of the summer, you could definitely see me get tired as, as I was changing arm slots, coming down to that like three fourths, like a little bit lower than that. And that's when you can really tell that I'm tired and I'm 90, 91. It's now, is that something that you think about? And DJ, we talked about this with on our last episode of, of high school guys, especially in the state of Florida, getting those early looks because there is a chance they're going to get tired. You're carrying Naples in the lineup on, on the on the mound. Talk to me about your hand placement, because that was something when you kicked off this spring, you go from what we had seen at PDP throughout the summer, you're a little bit worn down, staying behind the ball. Is that something that you think about to try and get that rise and run out of your fastball? Uh, not, not really. I mean, I kind of just, kind of just try to have an effortless fastball as like a lot of people would like to see that. That's just kind of what I, that's what, what I like to do. Just kind of have a free mind and not think about too much. That's always a good thing to have. <laughs> Keep that free mind. For sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> we need to send him our earlier podcast with Jay. That would that would be perfect. Now, now going through th this season, um, and I actually came down to see you, but you got kind of skipped the start, went against IMG. You kind of had an inner squad situation, so I'm sorry that I didn't get over there. No, um, no worries. <laughs> you did have a dominant spring on the bump. The fact that you can punch these guys at that rate is just outstanding. I think it's something to to really be valued professionally with this two way aspect. And we're gonna kind of shift over. And DJ, I want to hear some of your side of this thing. The two-way aspect. Have one. Have any teams talked to you about continuing as a position player? Honestly, I mean, there's been a select few. Okay. Um, but I mean, they're just kind of they're a little iffy about it, and they said that if I like worked more on it, which I honestly during season I hit pretty much every single day. Like I was in the cage working after practice, before practice, just trying to hit and just see like if I can if I have it in me. But I don't know what's going to happen there. It's interesting you talk about how much you, you hit. And I was a pitcher and I was the same way. All high school, all I was doing was hitting and, and doing yeah. that. What are your what were your between starts things like? Were you geared in like I have my long toss day, this just from the pitching side, my short box, my bullpen, or was it more like, hey, yo, I'm just going out there to compete and it kind of comes naturally? Are you talking about um, after my starts and so after the starts, was it what were like the pitching aspect of it? More so, you were talking about how much you hit. Like you put a ton of effort into that. Was just as much effort put into the pitching side, or is it more like, mm -hmm. hey, I'm a good athlete. As long as I stay athletic, I'll be fine on the mound. No, no, it was definitely both. I mean, I worked hard at both things. It was kind of just kind of a routine. I was really trying to get used to a routine and doing the same single like same thing every day because I had a I pretty much had a start day this year, so I was still on, I was still on Tuesdays guaranteed and then i would have wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday and tuesday or on and monday just to kind of just go along with my routine and do what i have to do with my 90 to 120 feet bullpens two days before there's a bunch of different processes to this.